Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing super well. I wanted to show you a great feature for extracting data from published figures. It's very useful if you want to recreate a figure to cite yourself when you haven't been able to get the underlying data from the authors. Here we have a figure from an article entitled Seven Centuries of European Economic Growth and Decline by Roger Fouquet and Stephen Broadberry. It's included in an article on economic growth uh, in our world in data. If we wanted to include this figure in our own paper, we could copy it from here, but it might be pixelated, and also it wouldn't fit the style of the graphics in our own paper. A fantastic tool which will help us out is the web plot digitizer. It allows us to grab the data from the graph and then reproduce it ourselves. So what we do is save the image, then go to the web plot digitizer, click on launch now, click file, load image, choose the picture, then say align the axes. What we're going to do here is tell the web plot digitizer what the axes represent and their values. So we start in order that they suggest. We will select 1400, 1700, 500, and 2500. We can click complete and select OK. Now we are going to try and extract the particular line from the graph. Well, what we will do is click on select color, color picker, and choose the yellow line representing Holland. Now what we will do is click run. You'll notice that it has selected every point on our graph, and this is not helpful. What we're going to do is reduce the distance between the colors that it will select down to perhaps 10. Um, we will run it again, and now we get just the yellow line for Holland. We can download this data by clicking View Data and download as a CSV or copy it to our clipboard. We can then paste that into an Excel spreadsheet. Fantastic. Now we've repeated that process for the five other countries and saved the output into an Excel spreadsheet. If we import that into R, we can see what it looks like. We've got our countries, our X value and our Y value. We're now going to create a list for the order in which we want our legend based on the maximum value at the end of our series. The order looks like this. Then we will take our data frame and pipe it to a ggplot. And as you can see, it's come out looking all right. We have on our legend, the order of the line matches up with the order at the end of the series, which is quite nice. Not too difficult at all.